So I had to uh, trace through my my um, um, where the the fresh air comes out of the fan shroud down into the you know past the muffler into the heat right, the heat exchangers that goes out into into the cabin of the car. I need to trace all of, uh, both sides of that and see if there are any gaps or or holes in there that that could potentially draw in um, outside air because that's what they're doing right now. I'm getting some exhaust smell in my car whenever I have the heater on. And the heater does work really well, which is which is a plus. Um. How's it going? This is a kind of a cold December day. Um, I'm working on my bug. Auto has an exhaust leak and I'm fixing that. Right now it's, um, I'm having to basically take my muffler off and I'm replacing the seals and the clamps for the muffler. And then I'm also going to be, there's a crack that's along the skin of my heater box that's on the driver's side. I need to tape that up with some, some foil tape. And then I also need to make sure that my duct, my, uh, my plastic duct work is seated correctly in the, um, to the goes where it goes into the heater heater box. So a lot of things I'm working on. I'll take some pictures as we go, but uh, yeah, fun stuff. So I've already removed my my root tin. There's my root tin. Um, I've undone the bolts that hold the heater risers heat risers onto the muffler. Um, I have loosened and taken off the top stud over here. There's a bottom stud over there. I'm getting ready to and done loose the top stud here. And actually I'm just going to do the bottom studs first and then I will loosen that one so I can just kind of slide it back. And then I can replace the the um, gaskets and the clamps once I get things back together. And then I'll be happy. Kind of a pain in the butt to get to this one. There it goes. Okay, now that's done. Okay, so there it's off. It, it took a lot of work, actually. <laughs> I don't know how. I got, uh, it's, it's kind of tight quarters, but it, it kind of helps probably to remove this um, clamp, which I'm going to do right now. And but still, that was kind of a pain. this one one hand all this so I can I can I can replace these uh. okay uh. oh, there's that nut okay goes okay hopefully this is loose enough now to replace the gaskets and clamps so got this on but I think I actually didn't really strip this a little bit but my problem is if you look over here it doesn't look like it's completely over the, the seal part so I wonder if it's actually going to do its dang job. I mean, it squished down in there really good. So let's hope it does, but I am a little weary of it. That one's done. I've added that there to cover the open spot that was kind of crusted over. Um, I've tightened those the way they're supposed to be. There. Um, I added... I added the um, foil over there, and I added these, They're nice and tight, and uh, yeah, I think we're, we're in good shape. I, uh, I know that, that this coming spring or summer or whatever, I'm going to have to replace this 
this one. They also um, made that so that fit better. Um, I think I've basically cleared up all of the spots that could be entering exhaust into my heater. Okay, so we are done. I got everything put together. Um, so everything's back to where it was today. I when I took all this stuff off. Well, I think I may have got it fixed. I can still smell a little bit of exhaust, but it's mostly like engine smell I smell. You know, like, like the, like burn oil. When I first started up the, the engine and I turned on the heater, there was still this really over overpowering smell of exhaust, but I think that was just residual stuff that was in there from before, I'm hoping. Because as time went, went I, I smelled less of the exhaust and more of the classic kind of heater smell that you smell from, from Volkswagens. It's, it's like old oil kind of a smell. Not very power, overpowering, but it just, that's, that's the, that was the, the, the aroma I was smelling. Um, I'm hoping it wasn't just because I was getting used to the exhaust smell, <laughs> but uh, I didn't start. I didn't have felt any of the effects of the the carbon monoxide if there if there was any present. So um, um, so tomorrow I will be taking it out for an hour and oh well, for at least a half hour and get the engine up to speed, get the heat heat up up to temperature, and just see if see if I'm still smelling a lot of exhaust. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of it completely because of that the heater box. I mean the heater box actually might be damaged internally, then that, that exhaust pipe might, the J pipe might actually be bad. I hope not, but that being said, I, I, with that with that crack being there, I wouldn't, and it was kind of rusty there, uh, I wouldn't put it past it. It probably could have. Um, if that's the case, then I might not be able to use my, my heater that much during the winter here. Um, well, today I'm, this is my test drive after I've tried to fix up some of the Exhaust. Hopefully the exhaust smell isn't very bad. I'm still thinking there's going to be some because it's. Uh, I don't know if I can get it to be perfect. But we'll try. So I've got the heat turned on. I can smell. I can smell a little bit of exhaust, but it's not nearly as bad. It's, it's more of a hint of it. Let's see. It's a mix of the classic heat of the heater that you smell with the Volkswagens, which is basically heated oil, you know. The faster that the, the, the fan blows, the more hot air comes into it. Okay. I'm hoping, yeah, see now I don't smell the exhaust as much. It's more just that I smell old. It's just, I mean, it's always going to have a, a, a smell to it, unlike, you know, the most modern cars where it doesn't pick up any of the, the duct work <laughs> smell. Or, I mean, like, because what, what the air that I'm getting is, is basically air that's being passed over the oil cooler that, you know, we might have some oil um, that you know I mean, picking up on things. Uh, I don't know. I can't really complain. Yeah, with the sun in, in here, I mean, I can wear a t-shirt to work and not worry about it, but um, of course, when I'm, when I'm gonna be going to work, it's gonna be dark. test drive uh, it was out for about 45 minutes my overall, overall conclusion is that I was successful at, at getting rid of most of the exhaust smell I can still smell it it's still there but it's not 
overpowering. Um, I smell. I think when I'm when I'm when I'm sitting at an idle, I, I smell it more than when I'm actually driving. When I'm driving, I smell a lot more of just the the old, you know, the, the, the basically the air that is being passed over an oil uh, oil cooler. You know, that's 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 what you're smelling. That kind of oil smell. So yeah, I can't complain. It was good. Well, um, thanks for watching. Uh, it's always an adventure. I love it, so have a great day.